The quarterly U.S. Army Japan and Ground Staff Office Cooperative Work Program, known as Co-op, is one of the most important bilateral programs for the U.S. Army Japan and the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. Twelve members from the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force arrived at Camp Zama on January 7, 2016 to participate in Co-op 79. They will work hard to build strong relationships during the next 10 weeks. I was excited about this co-op program. When I arrived to Camp Zama, there were Americans. I was a little bit nervous because it was my first meeting U.S. Army soldiers. I'm going to let my unit and soldiers know my experience. When I was first informed, uh, I was pretty excited, uh, a little nervous. Um, but for the most part, I, was, I felt pretty privileged uh, just to have this opportunity to share um, this sort of intimate relationship with a Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force uh, soldier. So it's, it's very enjoyable. Um, everything that we've done together, it's been a learning experience. So it's non-stop education um, every day. And I look forward to the next day. This program is busy. I have a lot on my plate. However, I'm always excited because I am surrounded by people who speak English. This is a great program to improve my English. Next time, I will be your sponsor during the upcoming exchange program. I want to introduce the difference with US Army and the JGSDF. I think the, the relationship that we have with the JGSDF and the camaraderie that we built as a team is important to the success of our mission here in Japan. Uh, either by disaster relief response or uh, national defense. And I think this program allows us to uh, solidify that relationship between the two uh, forces. I want to become the liaison position between JGSDF and US Army in the scene of bilateral training. And I want to uh, make use of ability of English the capacity building of engineer school in JGSDA. Uh, the co-op program allows us to work together and learn more about each other um, in a combined environment. You get to be a representative of your country uh, in another country to another military. So I embrace it and I hope uh, that this is not the last time that I get to be a sponsor. My experience here is really outstanding because U.S. Army and Corps program offers me that opportunities not only to participate in U.S. Army training, but also various tours to U.S. Army units and facilities. The most important thing in the relationship between the JGSDF and the U.S. Army would have to be the fact that the I Corps forward is splitting off and we're going to have a much bigger role with the Japanese here in the future. So it's a great opportunity for us to learn about how their culture and how they operate in the military. I'd like to participate in training and the conference with the U.S. forces with my experience. I think the most important thing is uh, that we can work together because I know in the future there's going to be more uh, opportunities for that to happen. I had an abundance of meaningful experience. Good morning! I'm Tom Cruise on COP79. That I will use in the future. I will share my knowledge with number of my unit when I return. I think this program is great. It gives me a chance to one, share my culture with uh, someone of the, in Japan and learn a little from their culture, as in the Japanese self-defense force and the way they do things. So. Creating an opportunity of exchange between JGSDF's NCO and USC's NCO. That is the most important thing, because NCO cooperates and fights on the site, so we should understand deeply each other more than now. I would have to say that the most important thing is to continue is to continue bilateral operations such as the co-op program 
that really integrates uh, our our soldiers together and uh, builds those relationships further than what they already are. And you know, the future depends on those relationships. My unit conduct joint training with the U.S. Army every year. I think it is important to know and respect each other. We can build great relationship of mutual trust. Um, being able to experience the exchange of culture. Not many soldiers will have the opportunity to experience the Japanese culture and um, learn from them uh, as, as well as they, you know, learning from us. Um, so I would say that on a scale of one to 10, that it would be a 10. I'd like to become a good interpreter to use my experiences and apply it during bilateral exercise and, and uh, contribute to my unit's mission. I feel more confident in my English speaking abilities. The more I spend time with U.S. soldiers, the more I enjoy and sharpen my English skills. My time is so short here. I mean, um, I'd love to come back to Japan and be able to just, you know, use this experience. I love Japan. I'm from this side of the world. So, I mean, just to keep that constant communication with her, even after I leave. So when I one day come back to Japan, I could just call her up and say, hi. Bilateral operation with the JGSDF and U.S. Army will increase more and more. So we need the mutual understanding, not only operational, but also cultural. It is important to have the confidence to speak with people that do not speak your language. This allows us to be able to communicate and learn English better. I want to share with my other American soldiers about how the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force works, and I also want to open the lines of communication between the Japanese soldiers and the American soldiers. Through this COP program, I was able to think about the U.S. Army becoming more familiar with us. Therefore, this program is an entry for my actual bilateral operations. The most important thing is to continue fostering an environment of shared learning and friendship to shape the future leaders of the JGSDF in their interaction with U.S. forces. Yeah.